What's up y'all? Welcome back in the shop. It's part two of my tow truck wheel lift build and uh, it's coming along really nicely. I'm really happy with it and uh, it's, it's, it's taking a little bit of time off and on lunch time and little increments of time and uh, man it's it, it's gonna it's gonna turn out nice when I'm all done I think and uh, it's gonna take a while for me to get it all mounted up on my truck and all that and this series is gonna get probably pretty long but uh, man I'm having a blast I hope you're enjoying watching all this and you can learn and pick up on some ideas and and uh, maybe even comment and uh, give me some insight and ideas of your own I'd love to see that in the comment section and uh, all that good stuff so let's get into it here all right so this is what I got here y'all have already seen the main boom part that extends out uh, if you haven't seen it look back in the thread on my channel and uh, it'll be under part one tow truck build and uh, got the cylinder inside it and all that and uh, I got this cylinder sitting on here actually this beam here is gonna be flipped over there's going to be a piece welded on that sticks up probably about 18 inches and this cylinder here is going to be hooked on to that piece and I'm going to make a really heavy duty bumper of the truck. That's what the other end of the cylinder is going to be attached to and you can kind of see the pivot point the cylinder pushes on it. This end goes up. You can kind of see how all that works out. This is what I've been working on for the past two weeks or better. Uh, the t-bar and it's far from being done but it's coming along and I got the two inch hitch in the middle so I can still pull trailers in that probably nothing real big but I'll still have the access to that and uh, been welding all this together if I can just keep my shadow out of the camera uh, that piece there is all welded in there I had to cut it and and notch it into the what this is is three inch box beam by three eighths thick I notched the two spots there and put in those spacers and uh, I have bronze oil light bushings you can see right here this is what the bolt and the bushing uh, the hole in there is a little bit smaller than an inch so I have to lay these down so I can press them in there and uh, I've already got them all pressed in on this side and uh, you can kind of see how this is fitting together here uh, this part right here is going to have a piece of two inch box beam that pivots on it and it all fold up and uh, when it unfolds to a 90 degree position uh, it'll be right here right and that'll be your cradle for your tires and the uh, same thing on that side and uh, Let's see here this is pretty tight here but uh, that pivots on there there's going to be a hydraulic cylinder that fits from here to the center same on the other side and uh, I got those at the house those will be introduced into the video series pretty soon uh, they're two I think they're inch and a half bore by eight inch stroke cylinders to come off a uh, actually a combine I bought them used got a real good deal on them and uh, there's gonna end up being a spring inside here. So as soon as this comes past the locking mechanism, I'm gonna build on here to make it fold up. As soon as it brings it past there, it's gonna flop this arm out, the spring's gonna pull it out. And uh, that's how that's gonna work. And uh, you'll definitely get an idea of all that when I put it together. You can see how I notched, basically cut a half moon in there put that in there and welded that all in there I got about six to eight passes of weld on each side shouldn't go nowhere and uh, all these welds I'm done with a, a Hobart Meg welder and it does pretty well I wish it kind of burned a little bit hotter and cleaner but if I cleaned my metal up like it was supposed to it uh, I'm sure it would work a little better but uh I get in a hurry, you know how that stuff is. But uh, there's gonna be two plates that uh, weld on top and bottom of here. It's gonna go on top and bottom of here. This is the pivot point 
that's going to be welded in here. Got two bronze oil light bushings in there that make the total width. And uh, yeah, it's uh, coming together really nicely. When I get all done with it, I hope to uh, sandblast the whole entire thing and I'm probably just going to paint it black. But that's the plan. I gotta do some rust treatment stuff on my truck as well. And, uh, yeah, it, it's working pretty well. So I posted a video up on my channel, a 55 second video of me doing some welding. And that was when I was welding the piece on that. And uh, I had hundreds of comments of people, pro welders, if you would, telling me that you have to push when you're welding with hard wire with shield gas. And uh, I'm used to use, doing stick welding. I'm way more familiar with that, so I have a tendency to pole weld, which is what I was doing in the video I posted up. And uh, I've since then done all of these welds on this piece. I mean, I'm not a pro by any means. They could stand to be cleaned up a little bit. But uh, all of them, except for some inside here where I couldn't get to very easy, all of those are push welded. And uh, to be honest, they look pretty near exact of what the pole weld, uh, pole ones did. And uh, I've looked up stuff penetration wise. Online, everything seems to say penetration is about equal maybe even a little better on pole but the form isn't quite as good and uh, it's a matter of debate I guess you could say but uh the welds on this that I did push weld they look almost identical I really don't see the big hype on uh, always doing push welding especially if it's in a tight spot you can't get to it I think the strength is about the same that's my uh, my opinion on it I may not be right but it's working out for me and they seem to hold. I've never had a weld that I did break, so I'm gonna keep doing what works best for me. And, uh, all right, that's pretty much what I got for you today. And, uh, we'll see when the next video comes up on this series, but, uh, it's coming along. You can kind of see the form of how it's gonna be, and, yeah, I'm really liking it. Alright, stay tuned. There will be more videos coming for sure of all different types of shop, shop things. And uh, if you like my content, get on there and uh, subscribe and follow on either Facebook or YouTube. And uh, I wouldn't want you to miss out on any of this stuff. And yeah, we'll keep, them, we'll keep these videos coming. And uh, I really enjoy doing this and putting this stuff together. And uh, it's not much more to record it and put it up so y'all can learn something and uh, give me your opinions on it. I love the interaction. So uh, stay tuned. Till next time.